The big draw is, is the culture. Uh, there's a historical culture of Butte that is this urban culture where people are a little more sophisticated than the uh, surrounding Montana area. I like to think, you know, we are. We're an urban center, you know, and it was always Butte America. It wasn't even necessarily Butte Montana. On any given night in Uptown Butte, there is an open mic night open to aspiring and accomplished musicians and poets alike. The Blue Luna, the Venus Rising, and Silver Dollar Saloon are places that regularly host musicians and poets to perform their original works. During one such event on a recent cold night, 11 poets took to the stage to recite their favorites. Tonight is Poetry Palooza 2009. Uh, the sixth stanza, it's our, our sixth uh, annual event of, of this night where local poets get together and share some of their work. Most are reading original stuff. They're Actually, they're all reading original stuff, except a few poets have um, chosen to read a couple of works by some published authors like T.S. Eliot. The winter evening settles down with smell of stakes and passageways. Six o'clock, the burnt out ends of smoky days. McElwain said another reason musicians and poets participate is for the thrill of being on stage, and he's seen several first-timers. I had another group, uh, a husband-wife team, that was their first time playing here, and uh, they, they did great. They had a great time. They sounded wonderful. Everyone enjoyed them. Grant said the Poetry Paloozas continue to grow each year by offering not only poetry for patrons, but food and a comfortable venue. Really, I think there was a lot of draw to it this year. and. Um, you know, people wanted to try some different food that maybe they couldn't try elsewhere and, and you know, come to a poetry slam. And while McElwain said culture and the thrill of it all are contributing factors into why people participate, he said it ultimately comes down to having the opportunity to express oneself artistically through music and poetry, many of which he's seen get inspiration from their hometown. I think that because Butte has such an inspirational background, and it sets the foundation for a lot of that creativity that you see around here. The stories of Butte are finding their way into these stories that these songwriters are telling. Yeah. Hey. Reporting for the Montana Standard, this is Erica Yakovich.